The study of geodesics on an ellipsoid arose in connection with geodesy, specifically with the solution of triangulation networks. The figure of the Earth is well approximated by an oblate ellipsoid, a slightly flattened sphere. A geodesic is the shortest path between two points on a curved surface, analogous to a straight line on a plane surface. The solution of a triangulation network on an ellipsoid is therefore a set of exercises in spheroidal trigonometry If the Earth is treated as a sphere, the geodesics are great circles all of which are closed, and the problems reduced to ones in spherical trigonometry. However, Newton 1687 showed that the effect of the rotation of the Earth results in its resembling a slightly oblate ellipsoid and, in this case, the equator and the meridians are the only simple closed geodesics. Furthermore, the shortest path between two points on the equator does not necessarily run along the equator. Finally, if the ellipsoid is further perturbed to become a triaxial ellipsoid with three distinct semi-axes, only three geodesics are closed. Topic geodesics on an ellipsoid of revolution There are several ways of defining geodesics Hilbert and Cohn-Vossen 1952, pp. 220–221. A simple definition is as the shortest path between two points on a surface. However, it is frequently more useful to define them as paths with zero geodesic curvature, i.e., the analog of straight lines on a curved surface. This definition encompasses geodesics traveling so far across the ellipsoid's surface somewhat more than half the circumference that other distinct routes require less distance. Locally, these geodesics are still identical to the shortest distance between two points. By the end of the 18th century, an ellipsoid of revolution the term spheroid is also used was a well-accepted approximation to the figure of the Earth. The adjustment of triangulation networks entailed reducing all the measurements to a reference ellipsoid and solving the resulting two-dimensional problem as an exercise in spheroidal trigonometry Bomford 1952, Chap. 3 like AL, 2015, section 4.5 it is possible to reduce the various geodesic problems into one of two types. Consider two points, A at latitude phi 1 and longitude λ1 and B at latitude phi 2 and longitude λ2 1. The connecting geodesic from A to B is AB, of length S12, which has azimuths α1 and α2 at the two endpoints. The two geodesic problems usually considered are, the direct geodesic problem or first geodesic problem, given A, α1, and S12, determine B and α2, the inverse geodesic problem or second geodesic problem, given A and B, determine S12, α1, and α2, as can be seen from Fig. 1. These problems involve solving the triangle NAB given one angle, α1 for the direct problem and λ12 equals lambda 2 minus lambda 1 for the inverse problem, and its two adjacent sides. For a sphere the solutions to these problems are simple exercises in spherical trigonometry, whose solution is given by formulas for solving a spherical triangle. See the article on great circle navigation. For an ellipsoid of revolution, the characteristic constant defining the geodesic was found by Clairaut 1735. A systematic solution for the paths of geodesics was given by Legendre 1806 and Oriani 1806 and subsequent papers in 1808 and 1810. 
The full solution for the direct problem complete with computational tables and a worked out example is given by Bessel 1825. During the 18th century geodesics were typically referred to as shortest lines. The term geodesic line was coined by Laplace 1799b Nous designerens set line sous le nom de ligne geodesique we will call this line the geodesic line This terminology was introduced into English either as geodesic line or as geodetic line for example Hutton 1811 a line traced in the manner we have now been describing, or deduced from trigonometrical measures, by the means we have indicated, is called a geodetic or geodesic line, it has the property of being the shortest which can be drawn between its two extremities on the surface of the Earth, and it is therefore the proper itinerary measure of the distance between those two points. In its adoption by other fields geodesic line, frequently shortened to geodesic, was preferred. This section treats the problem on an ellipsoid of revolution both oblate and prolate. The problem on a triaxial ellipsoid is covered in the next section. Topic equations for a geodesic Here the equations for a geodesic are developed, the derivation closely follows that of Bessel 1825. Jordan and Eggert 1941, Bagratuni 1962, Section 15, Ganshin 1967, Chap. 5, Krakiewski and Thomson 1974, Section 4, Rapp 1993, Section 1 1.2, Jacelli 2012, and Borre and Strang 2012 also provide derivations of these equations. Consider an ellipsoid of revolution with equatorial radius A and polar semi-axis B. Define the Flattening f equals a minus b a the eccentricity e topic square root a two minus b two a square root f two minus f and the second eccentricity e Topic square root a two minus b two b one minus f. In most applications in geodesy, the ellipsoid is taken to be oblate, a greater than b. However, the theory applies without change to prolate ellipsoids, a which case f e two and e two are negative. Let an elementary segment of a path on the ellipsoid have length d s from figs. 2 and 3, we see that if its azimuth is alpha, then ds is related to d phi and d lambda by 1, cos alpha ds equals rho d phi equals minus dr sin phi, sin alpha ds equals r d lambda, display style, color, white, q quad cos alpha, ds equals rho, d, var phi equals frac, doctor, sin, var phi, quad, sin, alpha, ds equals r, d, lambda, where rho is the meridional radius of curvature, r equals nu cos phi is the radius of the circle of latitude phi, and nu is the normal radius of curvature. The elementary segment is therefore given by ds2 equals rho 2 d phi 2 plus r 2 d lambda 2, display style ds caret 2 equals rho caret 2 d var phi caret 2 plus r caret 2 d lambda caret 2, or ds equals rho 2 phi 2 plus r 2 d lambda l phi phi d lambda, display style begin aligned ds and equals sqrt rho caret 2 var phi carrot 2 plus r carrot 2 d lambda and equivalent l var phi var phi d lambda end aligned where phi equals d phi d lambda and the Lagrangian function l depends on phi through rho phi and r phi. The length of an arbitrary path between 
phi 1 lambda 1 and phi 2 lambda 2 is given by s 12 equals lambda 1 lambda 2 l phi phi d lambda display style s underscore 12 equals int underscore lambda underscore 1 carrot lambda underscore 2 l va phi va phi d lambda where phi is a function of lambda satisfying phi lambda 1 equals phi 1 and phi lambda 2 equals phi 2 the shortest path or geodesic entails finding that function phi lambda which minimizes s12 this is an exercise in the calculus of variations and the minimizing condition is given by the beltrami identity l minus phi l phi equals const display style l vafi frac partial l partial vafi equals text const substituting for l and using eqs 1 gives r sin alpha equals const display style r sin alpha equals text const Flare out 1735 found this relation using a geometrical construction. A similar derivation is presented by Lyasternik, 1964, section 10. Differentiating this relation gives d alpha equals sin phi d lambda display style d alpha equals sin va phi d lambda this together with eqs 1 leads to a system of ordinary differential equations for a geodesic d phi d s equals cos alpha rho d lambda d s equals sin alpha nu cos phi d alpha d s equals tan phi sin alpha nu display style color white q quad frac d var phi ds equals frac cos alpha rho quad frac d lambda ds equals frac sin alpha nu cos var phi quad frac d alpha ds equals frac tan var phi sin alpha nu we can express r in terms of the parametric latitude Beta using R equals a cos beta display style R equals a cos beta and Clairot's relation then becomes sin alpha one cos beta one equals sin alpha two cos beta two 
Display style sin alpha underscore one cos beta underscore one equals sin alpha underscore two cos beta underscore two. This is the sign rule of spherical trigonometry relating two sides of the triangle nab C Fig. Four Nar equals one half pi minus beta one and N B equals one half pi minus beta two and their opposite angles B Topic Pi minus alpha two and a alpha one In order to find the relation for the third side A B equals sigma twelve, the spherical arc length, and included Angle n equals omega 12, the spherical longitude. It is useful to consider the triangle NEP representing a geodesic starting at the equator, C fig. 5. In this figure, the variables referred to the auxiliary sphere are shown with the corresponding quantities for the ellipsoid shown in parentheses. Quantities without subscripts refer to the arbitrary point p e, the point at which the geodesic crosses the equator in the northward direction, is used as the origin for sigma s and omega. If the side e p is extended by moving p infinitesimally, c fig six, we obtain. 2 cos alpha d sigma equals d beta sin alpha d sigma equals cos beta d omega Display style color white q quad cos alpha d sigma equals d beta quad sin alpha d sigma equals cos beta d omega. Combining eqs one and two gives differential equations for s and lambda one a d s d Sigma equals D Lambda D Omega equals Sin Beta Sin Phi Display style frac one a frac d s d sigma equals frac d lambda d omega equals frac sin beta sin var phi. The relation between beta and phi is tan beta equals one minus e two tan phi equals 1 minus f tan phi display style tan beta equals sqrt 1 e caret 2 tan va phi equals 1 f tan va phi which gives sin beta sin phi equals 1 minus e 2 cos 2 beta Display style frac sin beta sin va phi equals sqrt 1 e caret 2 cos caret 2 beta so that the differential equations for the geodesic become 1 a d s 
D Sigma equals D Lambda D Omega equals one minus E two cos two beta display style frac 1 a frac dsd sigma equals frac d lambda d omega equals sqrt 1 e caret 2 cos caret 2 beta the last step is to use sigma as the independent parameter in both of these differential equations and thereby to express s and lambda as integrals Applying the sign rule to the vertices E and G in the spherical triangle, e.g. P in Fig. 5 gives sin beta equals sin beta sigma alpha zero equals cos alpha 0 sin sigma display style sin beta equals sin beta sigma alpha underscore 0 equals cos alpha underscore 0 sin sigma where alpha 0 is the azimuth at e substituting this into the equation for ds d sigma and Integrating the result gives three S B equals zero Sigma one plus K two sin two Sigma D Sigma Display style color white. Q quad frac S B equals int underscore zero carrot sigma SQRT one plus K carrot two sin carrot two sigma D sigma where K equals E cos alpha zero Display style k equals e cos alpha underscore zero, and the limits on the integral are chosen so that s sigma topic zero zero. Legendre eighteen eleven p one hundred and eighty pointed out that the equation for s is the same as the equation for the arc on an ellipse with semi axes b square root 1 plus e 2 cos 2 alpha 0 and b in order to express the equation for lambda in terms of sigma we write d omega equals sin alpha 0 cos 2 beta d sigma display style d omega equals frac sin alpha underscore 0 cos caret 2 beta d sigma which follows from eq 2 and clairot's relation this yields Four Lambda minus Lambda zero equals Omega minus F sin alpha zero zero Sigma two minus F one plus 
one minus F one plus K two sin two sigma D sigma Display style color white q quad lambda lambda underscore zero equals omega f sin alpha underscore zero int underscore zero carrot sigma frac two f one plus one f sqrt one plus k carrot two sin carrot two sigma d sigma and the limits on the integrals are chosen so that lambda equals lambda zero at the equator crossing sigma equals zero this completes the solution of the path of a geodesic using the auxiliary sphere by this device a great circle can be mapped exactly to a geodesic on an ellipsoid of revolution there are also several ways of approximating geodesics on a terrestrial ellipsoid with small flattening rap 1991 section 6 some of these are described in the article on geographical distance however these are typically comparable in complexity to the method for the exact solution, Jekeli 2012, section 2.1.4. Topic behavior of geodesics Fig. 7 shows the simple closed geodesics which consist of the meridians green and the equator red. Here the qualification simple means that the geodesic closes on itself without an intervening self-intersection. This follows from the equations for the geodesics given in the previous section. All other geodesics are typified by figs. 8 and 9 which show a geodesic starting on the equator with alpha 0 equals 45 degrees. The geodesic oscillates about the equator. The equatorial crossings are called nodes and the points of maximum or minimum latitude are called vertices. The vertex latitudes are given by beta equals plus or minus one half pi minus alpha zero. The geodesic completes one full oscillation in latitude before the longitude has increased by 360 degrees. Thus, on each successive northward crossing of the equator, see fig. 8. Lambda falls short of a full circuit of the equator by approximately 2 pi f sin alpha 0 for a prolate ellipsoid, this quantity is negative and lambda completes more than a full circuit, see fig. 10. For nearly all values of alpha 0, the geodesic will fill that portion of the ellipsoid between the two vertex latitudes, see fig. 9. If the ellipsoid is sufficiently oblate, i.e., b, a possible, Klingenberg 1982, section 3.5.19. Two such geodesics are illustrated in figs. 11 and 12. Here b, a equals 2 sevenths and the equatorial azimuth, alpha 0, for the green resp, blue geodesic is chosen to be 53.175 degrees resp. 75.192 degrees, so that the geodesic completes two resp. Three complete oscillations about the equator on one circuit of the ellipsoid. Fig. 13 shows geodesics in blue emanating a with alpha 1 a multiple of 15 degrees up to the point at which they cease to be shortest paths. The flattening has been increased to one tenth in order to accentuate the ellipsoidal effects. Also shown in green are curves of constant S12, which are the geodesic circles centered. A Gauss, 1828, showed that on any surface, geodesics and geodesic circle intersect at right angles. The red line is the cut locus, the locus of points which have multiple, two in this case, shortest geodesics from A on a sphere, the cut locus is a point. On an oblate ellipsoid, shown here, it is a segment of the circle of latitude centered on the point antipodal to A, phi equals minus phi 1. 
The longitudinal extent of cut locus is approximately lambda 12 element of pi minus f pi cos phi 1 pi plus f pi cos phi 1. If a lies on the equator, phi 1 equals 0, this relation is exact and as a consequence the equator is only a shortest geodesic if, λ12, 1 minus f pi. For a prolate ellipsoid, the cut locus is a segment of the anti-meridian centered on the point antipodal to A, λ12 equals pi, and this means that meridional geodesics stop being shortest paths before the antipodal point is reached. Topic: Solution of the direct and inverse problems. Solving the geodesic problems entails mapping the geodesic onto the auxiliary sphere and solving the corresponding problem in great circle navigation. When solving the elementary spherical triangle for NEP in Fig. 5 Napier's rules for quadrantal triangles can be employed sin alpha 0 equals sin alpha cos beta equals tan omega cot sigma cos sigma equals cos beta cos omega equals tan alpha 0 cot alpha cos alpha equals cos Omega cos alpha zero equals cot sigma tan beta sin beta equals cos alpha zero sin Sigma equals cot alpha tan omega sin omega equals sin sigma sin alpha equals tan beta tan alpha zero. Display style begin aligned sin alpha underscore zero and equals sin alpha cos beta equals tan omega cot sigma cos sigma and equals cos beta cos omega equals tan alpha underscore zero cot alpha cos alpha and equals cos omega cos alpha underscore zero equals cot sigma tan beta sin beta and equals cos alpha underscore zero sin sigma equals cot alpha tan omega sin omega and equals sin sigma sin alpha equals tan beta tan alpha underscore zero end aligned the mapping of the geodesic involves evaluating the integrals for the distance s and the longitude lambda eqs three and four and these depend on the parameter alpha zero Handling the direct problem is straightforward, because α0 can be determined directly from the given quantities φ1 and α1. In the case of the inverse problem, λ12 is given, this cannot be easily related to the equivalent spherical angle ω12 because α0 is unknown. Thus, the solution of the problem requires that α0 be found iteratively. In geodetic applications, where f is small, the integrals are typically evaluated as a series Legendre 1806, Oriani 1806, Bessel 1825, Helmert 1880, Rainsford 1955, Rapp 1993. 
For arbitrary f, the integrals 3 and 4 can be found by numerical quadrature or by expressing them in terms of elliptic integrals Legendre 1806, Cayley 1870. Vincenti 1975 provides solutions for the direct and inverse problems, these are based on a series expansion carried out to third order in the flattening and provide an accuracy of about 0.1 mm for the WGS84 ellipsoid, however the inverse method fails to converge for nearly antipodal points. Carney 2013 continues the expansions to sixth order which suffices to provide full double precision accuracy for, f, 1 50th and improves the solution of the inverse problem so that it converges in all cases. Carney 2013 addendum extends the method to use elliptic integrals which can be applied to ellipsoids with arbitrary flattening. Topic: Differential properties of geodesics. Various problems involving geodesics require knowing their behavior when they are perturbed. This is useful in trigonometric adjustments. Ellet 1993. Determining the physical properties of signals which follow geodesics etc. Consider a reference geodesic, parameterized by s and a second geodesic a small distance ts away from it. Gauss 1828 showed that ts obeys the Gauss-Jacobi equation d 2 t s d S two equals K S T S display style color white Q quad display style frac D carrot two T S D S carrot two equals K S T S where K's is the Gaussian curvature at S as a second order linear homogeneous differential equation its solution may be expressed as the sum of two independent solutions t s 2 equals c m s 1 s 2 plus D M S one S two Display style T S underscore two equals C M S underscore one S underscore two plus D M S underscore one S underscore two where M S one S one equals zero D M S one S two D S two S two equals S one equals 1 m s 1 s 1 equals 1 d m s 1 s 2 d s 2 S two equals S one equals zero.
Display style begin aligned M S underscore one S underscore one and equals zero quad left frac DM S underscore one S underscore two D S underscore two right underscore S underscore two equals S underscore one equals one M S underscore one S underscore one and equals one quad left frac DM S underscore one S underscore two D S underscore Two right underscore S underscore two equals S underscore one equals zero end aligned the quantity M S one S two equals M twelve is the so called reduced length, and M S one S two equals M twelve is the geodesic scale. Their basic definitions are illustrated in Fig. fourteen. The Gaussian curvature for an ellipsoid of revolution is k equals 1 rho nu equals 1 minus e 2 sin 2 phi 2 B two equals B two a four one minus E two cos two beta two Display style k equals frac one row new equals frac b i g l one e carrot two sin carrot two va phi big r carrot two b carrot two equals frac b carrot two a carrot four b i g l one e carrot two cos carrot two beta big r carrot two Helmert eighteen eighty e q Six point five point one solved the Gauss Jacobi equation for this case enabling M twelve and M twelve to be expressed as integrals. As we see from Fig. fourteen top sub figure, the separation of two geodesics starting at the same point with azimuths differing by d alpha one is M twelve d alpha one. On a closed surface such as an ellipsoid, M12 oscillates about zero. The point at which M12 becomes zero is the point conjugate to the starting point. In order for a geodesic between A and B, of length S12, to be a shortest path it must satisfy the Jacobi condition, Jacobi eighteen thirty seven, Jacobi eighteen sixty six, sections six, Forsyth nineteen twenty seven, sections twenty six to twenty seven, Bliss nineteen sixteen, that there is no point conjugate to a between A and B. If this condition is not satisfied, then there is a nearby path not necessarily a geodesic which is shorter thus the jacobi condition is a local property of the geodesic and is only a necessary condition for the geodesic being a global shortest path necessary and sufficient conditions for a geodesic being the shortest path are for an oblate ellipsoid, sigma 12, pi. For a prolate ellipsoid, lambda 12, pi. If alpha 0 does not equal 0, if alpha 0. Topic 0. The supplemental condition m 12 0 is required if lambda 12 pi. Topic Envelope of geodesics The geodesics from a particular pointer if continued 
pass the cut locus form an envelope illustrated in Fig. 15. Here the geodesics for which α1 is a multiple of 3 degrees are shown in light blue. The geodesics are only shown for their first passage close to the antipodal point, not for subsequent ones. Some geodesic circles are shown in green, these form cusps on the envelope. The cut locus is shown in red. The envelope is the locus of points which are conjugate to a points on the Envelope may be computed by finding the point at which m12 equals 0 on a geodesic. Jacobi calls this star-like figure produced by the envelope an asteroid. Outside the asteroid two geodesics intersect at each point, thus there are two geodesics with a length approximately half the circumference of the ellipsoid between her and these points. This corresponds to the situation on the sphere where there are short and long roots on a great circle between two points. Inside the asteroid four geodesics intersect at each point. Four such geodesics are shown in fig. 16 where the geodesics are numbered in order of increasing length. This figure uses the same position for a as fig. 13 and is drawn in the same projection. The two shorter geodesics are stable, i.e., m12 greater than 0, so that there is no nearby path connecting the two points which is shorter, the other two are unstable. Only the shortest line the first one has sigma 12 pi. All the geodesics are tangent to the envelope which is shown in green in the figure. The asteroid is the exterior evolute of the geodesic circles centered at A. Likewise, the geodesic circles are Involutes of the asteroid. Topic: <inaudible> Area of a geodesic polygon. A geodesic polygon is a polygon whose sides are geodesics. The area of such a polygon may be found by first computing the area between a geodesic segment and the equator, i.e., the area of the quadrilateral AFHB in Fig. 1, Danielson 1989. Once this area is known, the area of a polygon may be computed by summing the contributions from all the edges of the polygon. Here an expression for the area S12 of AFHB is developed following S. Joburg 2006. The area of any closed region of the ellipsoid is T equals D T equals 1 K cos phi D phi D lambda display style t equals int d t equals int frac one k cos var phi d var phi d lambda, where d t is an element of surface area and k is the Gaussian curvature. Now the Gauss Bonnet theorem applied to a geodesic polygon states gamma equals k d t equals cos phi d phi d lambda 
Display style gamma equals int k dt equals int cos var phi d var phi d lambda, where gamma equals two pi minus j theta j display style gamma equals 2 pi sum underscore j theta underscore j is the geodesic excess and theta j is the exterior angle at vertex j multiplying the equation for gamma by r22 where r2 is the orthalic radius and subtracting this from the equation for t gives T equals R two two gamma plus one K minus R two two cos phi D phi D lambda equals R two two gamma plus B two one minus E two Sin two phi two minus r two two cos phi d phi d lambda display style begin aligned t and equals r underscore two carrot two gamma plus int bigle frac one k r underscore two carrot two bigger cos var phi d var phi d lambda and equals r underscore two carrot two gamma plus int bigle frac b carrot two b i g l one e carrot two Sin carrot two var phi big R carrot two R underscore two carrot two bigger cos var phi d var phi d lambda end aligned where the value of k for an ellipsoid has been substituted. Applying this formula to the quadrilateral AFHB, noting that gamma equals alpha two minus alpha one, and performing the integral over phi gives s 12 equals r 2 2 alpha 2 minus alpha 1 plus b 2 lambda 1 lambda 2 1 2 1 minus e 2 sin 2 phi plus than minus 1 e Sin Phi two E Sin Phi minus R two two B two Sin Phi D Lambda Display style S underscore twelve equals R underscore two, carrot two, alpha underscore two, alpha underscore one, plus B carrot two, int underscore, lambda underscore, one carrot, lambda underscore two, bigle, frac, one two, B I G L, one E carrot two, sin carrot two, Vafi, big R plus, frac than carrot, minus one E, sin, Vafi, two E, sin, Vafi frac r underscore two carrot two b carrot two bigger sin phi d lambda 
where the integral is over the geodesic line, so that phi is implicitly a function of lambda. The integral can be expressed as a series valid for small f. Danielson 1989, Carney 2013, section 6 and addendum. The area of a geodesic polygon is given by summing S12 over its edges. This result holds provided that the polygon does not include a pole. If it does 2 pi r22 must be added to the sum. If the edges are specified by their vertices, then a convenient expression for T geodesic excess E12 equals alpha 2 minus alpha 1 is tan E 12 2 equals sin 1 2 beta 2 plus beta 1 cos 1 2 beta 2 minus beta 1 tan omega 12 2 Display style tan frac e underscore twelve two equals frac sin t f r a c one two beta underscore two plus beta underscore one cos t f r a c one two beta underscore two beta underscore one tan frac omega underscore twelve two topic Geodesics on a triaxial ellipsoid Solving the geodesic problem for an ellipsoid of revolution is, from the mathematical point of view, relatively simple, because of symmetry Geodesics have a constant of the motion, given by Clairaut's relation allowing the problem to be reduced to quadrature by the early 19th century, with the work of Legendre, Oriani, Bessel, Al, there was a complete understanding of the properties of geodesics on an ellipsoid of revolution. On the other hand, geodesics on a triaxial ellipsoid with three unequal axes have no obvious constant of the motion and thus represented a challenging, unsolved problem in the first half of the 19th century. In a remarkable paper, Jacobi discovered a constant of the motion allowing this problem to be reduced to quadrature. Also, Klingenberg 1982, section 3.5 The triaxial coordinate system Consider the ellipsoid defined by H equals x 2 a 2 plus y 2 b 2 plus Z two C two equals one Display style H equals frac x carrot two a carrot two plus frac y carrot two b carrot two plus frac Z carrot two C carrot two equals one where x, y, z are Cartesian coordinates centered on the ellipsoid and, without loss of generality, a bc greater than zero. Jacobi, 1866, sections 26 to 27, employed the ellipsoidal latitude and longitude 
beta omega defined by x equals a cos omega a 2 minus b 2 sin 2 beta minus c 2 cos 2 beta a 2 minus c 2 y equals b cos beta sin Omega Z equals C sin beta a two sin two omega plus B two cos two omega minus C two a two minus C two. Display style begin aligned x and equals a cos omega frac sqrt a carrot two b carrot two sin carrot two beta c carrot two cos carrot two beta sqrt a carrot two c carrot two y and equals b cos beta sin omega z and equals c sin beta frac sqrt a carrot two sin carrot two omega plus b carrot 2 cos carrot 2 omega c carrot 2 sqrt a carrot 2 c carrot 2 end aligned in the limit b a beta becomes the parametric latitude for an oblate ellipsoid so the use of the symbol beta is consistent with the previous sections however omega is different from the spherical longitude defined above grid lines of constant beta in blue and omega in green are given in fig 17 these constitute an orthogonal coordinate system the grid lines intersect at right angles the principal sections of the ellipsoid defined by x topic 0 and z 0 are shown in red the third principal section y equals 0 is covered by the lines beta topic plus or minus 90 degrees and omega 0 degrees or plus or minus 180 degrees these lines meet at four umbilical points two of which are visible in this figure where the principal radii of curvature are equal. Here and in the other figures in this section the parameters of the ellipsoid are a, b, c equals 1.01, 1 to 0.8, and it is viewed in an orthographic projection from a point above phi equals 40 degrees, lambda equals 30 degrees. The grid lines of the ellipsoidal coordinates may be interpreted in three different ways, they are lines of curvature on the ellipsoid, they are parallel to the directions of principal curvature they are also intersections of the ellipsoid with confocal systems of hyperboloids of one and two sheets part 5. Finally they are geodesic ellipses and hyperbolas defined using two adjacent umbilical points Hilbert and Cohn-Vossen 1952, p. 188. For example, the lines of constant beta in fig. 17 can be generated with the familiar string construction for ellipses with the ends of the string pinned to the two umbilical points. Topic: Jacobi's solution. Jacobi showed that the geodesic equations expressed in ellipsoidal coordinates are separable. Here is how he recounted his discovery to his friend and neighbor Bessel, Jacobi, 1839, letter to Bessel. The day before yesterday, I reduced to quadrature the problem of geodesic lines on an ellipsoid with three unequal axes. 
They are the simplest formulas in the world, abelian integrals, which become the well-known elliptic integrals if two axes are set equal. Königsberg, the 28th of December, 38. The solution given by Jacobi, Jacobi 1839. Jacobi 1866 section 28 is delta equals b 2 sin 2 beta plus c 2 cos 2 beta d Beta a two minus b two sin two beta minus c two cos two beta b two Minus C two cos two beta minus gamma minus a two sin two omega plus B two Cos two Omega D Omega a two sin two Omega plus B two Cos two Omega minus C two a two Minus B two sin two omega plus gamma display style begin aligned delta and equals int frac sqrt b carrot two sin carrot two beta plus c carrot two cos carrot two beta d beta sqrt a carrot two b carrot two sin carrot two beta c carrot two cos carrot two beta sqrt b i g l b carrot two C carrot two big R cos carrot two beta gamma six PT and quad int frac SQRT a carrot two sin carrot two omega plus B carrot two cos carrot two omega D omega SQRT a carrot two sin carrot two omega plus B carrot two cos carrot two omega C carrot two SQRT BIGL a carrot two B carrot two Big R sin carrot two omega plus gamma end aligned as Jacobi notes a function of the angle beta equals a function of the angle omega. These two functions are just abelian integrals. Two constants delta and gamma appear in the solution. Typically, delta is zero if the lower limits of the integrals are taken to be the starting point of the geodesic and the direction of the geodesics is determined by gamma. However, for geodesics that start at an umbilical points, we have gamma equals zero and delta determines the direction at the umbilical point. The constant gamma may be expressed as gamma equals B two minus C two cos two beta sin two alpha minus a two minus B Two sin two omega cos two 
alpha display style gamma equals bigl b caret 2 c caret 2 big r cos caret 2 beta sin caret 2 alpha bigl a caret 2 b caret 2 bigl sin caret 2 omega cos caret 2 alpha where alpha is the angle the geodesic makes with lines of constant omega in the limit ba this reduces to sin alpha cos beta equals const the familiar clare out relation a derivation of jacobi's result is given by darbo 1894 sections 583 to 584 he gives the solution found by Liouville 1846 for general quadratic surfaces topic survey of triaxial geodesics on a triaxial ellipsoid there are only 3 simple closed geodesics the Three principal sections of the ellipsoid given by x equals zero. Y. Topic zero and z. Zero. To survey the other geodesics, it is convenient to consider geodesics that intersect the middle principal section, y equals zero, at right angles. Such geodesics are shown in figs. 18–22, which use the same ellipsoid parameters and the same viewing direction as fig. 17. In addition, the three principal ellipses are shown in red in each of these figures. If the starting point is beta 1 element of minus 90 degrees 90 degrees omega 1 topic 0 and alpha 1 90 degrees then gamma greater than 0 and the geodesic encircles the ellipsoid in a circumpolar sense the geodesic oscillates north and south of the equator, on each oscillation it completes slightly less than a full circuit around the ellipsoid resulting, in the typical case, in the geodesic filling the area bounded by the two latitude lines β equals plus or minus β1. Two examples are given in figs. 18 and 19. Figure 18 shows practically the same behavior as for an oblate ellipsoid of revolution because are approximately equals b, compare to fig. 9. However, if the starting point is at a higher latitude fig. 18, the distortions resulting from a does not equal b are evident. All tangents to a circumpolar geodesic touch the confocal single sheeted hyperboloid which intersects the ellipsoid at beta equals beta 1 Casals 1846 Hilbert and Cohn Vossen 1952 pp 223 to 224 if the starting point is beta 1 equals 90 degrees, omega 1 element of 0 degrees, 180 degrees, and alpha 1 equals 180 degrees, then gamma in a transpolar sense. The geodesic oscillates east and west of the ellipse x equals 0, on each oscillation it completes slightly more than a full circuit around the ellipsoid. In the typical case, this results in the geodesic filling the area bounded by the two longitude lines omega topic <laughs> omega 1 and omega 180 degrees minus omega 1 if r equals b all meridians are geodesics the effect of a does not equal b causes such geodesics to oscillate east and west. Two examples are given in figs. 20 and 21. The constriction of the geodesic near the pole disappears in the limit b 
BC, in this case, the ellipsoid becomes a prolate ellipsoid and fig. 20 would resemble fig. 10. Rotated on its side. All tangents to a transpolar geodesic touch the confocal double sheeted hyperboloid which intersects the ellipsoid at omega equals omega 1. If the starting point is beta 1 equals 90 degrees, omega 1 equals 0 degrees an umbilical point, and alpha 1 equals 135 degrees the geodesic leaves the ellipse y equals 0 at right angles, then gamma equals 0 and the geodesic repeatedly intersects the opposite umbilical point and returns to its starting point. However, on each circuit the angle at which it intersects y equals 0 becomes closer to 0 degrees or 180 degrees so that asymptotically the geodesic lies on the ellipse y equals 0 Hart 1849 Arnold 1989 p 265 as shown in fig 22 a single geodesic does not fill an area on the ellipsoid all tangents to umbilical geodesics touch the confocal hyperbola that intersects the ellipsoid at the umbilic points Umbilical geodesic enjoy several interesting properties. Through any point on the ellipsoid, there are two umbilical geodesics. The geodesic distance between opposite umbilical points is the same regardless of the initial direction of the geodesic. Whereas the closed geodesics on the ellipses x Topic zero and z. Zero are stable and geodesic initially close to and nearly parallel to the ellipse remains close to the ellipse. The closed geodesic on the ellipse y. Topic zero, which goes through all four umbilical points, is exponentially unstable. If it is perturbed, it will swing out of the plane y. 0 and flip around before returning to close to the plane. This behavior may repeat depending on the nature of the initial perturbation. If the starting pointer of a geodesic is not an umbilical point, its envelope is an asteroid with two cusps lying on beta equals minus beta 1 and the other two on omega equals omega 1 plus pi the cut locus for a is the portion of the line beta equals minus beta 1 between the cusps equals topic applications equals the direct and inverse geodesic problems no longer play the central role in geodesy that they once did instead of solving adjustment of geodetic networks as a two-dimensional problem in spheroidal trigonometry these problems are now solved by three-dimensional methods Vincenti and Boring 1978 Nevertheless, terrestrial geodesics still play an important role in several areas. For measuring distances and areas in geographic information systems, the definition of maritime boundaries (UNCLOS 2006) in the rules of the Federal Aviation Administration for Area Navigation (RNAV 2007), the method of measuring distances in the PHI Sporting Code (PHI 2018) by the principle of least action, many problems in physics can be formulated as a variational problem similar to that for geodesics. Indeed, the geodesic problem is equivalent to the motion of a particle constrained to move on the surface, but otherwise subject to no forces Laplace 1799A Hilbert and Cohn-Voss and 1952, p. 222. 
For this reason, geodesics on simple surfaces such as ellipsoids of revolution or triaxial ellipsoids are frequently used as test cases for exploring new methods. Examples include, the development of elliptic integrals and elliptic functions the development of differential geometry methods for solving systems of differential equations by a change of independent variables the study of caustics investigations into the number and stability Stability of periodic orbits .In the limit C0, geodesics on a triaxial ellipsoid reduce to a case of dynamical billiards, extensions to an arbitrary number of dimensions Nora 1980, geodesic flow on a surface Berger 2010, Chap. 12. See also Geographical distance Great circle navigation Geodesics Geodesy Meridian arc Rum line Vincenti's formulae Notes <laughs> <laughs>